What's going on guys? This is Where's Fluffy. And first off, I want to apologize. I had a sort of setup I had planned for this video. And I just felt like looking back everything I was doing for the video, it just came out pretty stale. And I didn't like that. That doesn't make for good content. So I'm doing this video a little bit differently. But in the future, this series will get better. And I just want to tell you about this series with this. The series is revolving around, you know, free Steam games that come out every week in which I'll probably do like one or two videos of gameplay on the game and then I'll give it you know a small review which I think would be pretty cool you know and you could say and ask me well if I wanted to play a free steam game while I just play it by myself yeah sure you could but you know you're lazy let's just be honest we're all lazy to some degree so I just think it'd be like a real nice cool chill way to you know separate playing so much League of Legends and other games and just give me a break from the normal stuff I do which I think is pretty cool. Now this game we're reviewing is called Wasteland 2. I think it's a pretty cool game. I like the concept of it. Uh, just right off the bat I can tell you it's like a pre-Fallout 3 it's game where you know you get to walk around and you have like the bird's eye view type of thing kind of like with Gauntlet it's, it's like that and then it's combined with like XCOM which is you know pretty cool in my opinion because I do love playing XCOM I enjoy that a lot I put 7 hours into this Wasteland 2 game actually and one thing I think that's like really really cool that I like is that shit is hard man it is hard Honestly, I'm surprised I had so much trouble beating it. I usually, you know, go in to games like that and sometimes there's no problem. And, like, the thing I had it on was Seasoned, which I guess is, like, normal. Maybe if you played a game before, if you're familiar with tactic shooters or whatever you like. Like, XCOM, basically. Again, if you like stuff like that. So, you know, I figured I'd go in pretty easy. No, that shit is legit fucking hard. The game is hard, and... I think that's what made me put seven hours into the game. Like, I like things challenging, and I want to get better at it. And it's like, what else? Like, like I keep comparing to XCOM, but it's so much like XCOM, or like a three-star XCOM, to be honest. Uh, and I thought that was honestly, you know, the best part about it, and um the challenge of it so I can only imagine like trying to play through that game on the hardest mode is and then it's like if you lose one of your your four starters they're dead it's just going forever so you have to be careful and with this game I felt myself saving many many times which was like crazy ridiculous I'm like I've never saved in this game so much in any game so much because you know this, this game is like so damn difficult and I really just wanted to get through this game and, you know, attempt to get somewhat close into this game, which I pretty did. I beat, like, two and a half missions before I decided, you know, okay, I don't want to get too sucked into this because it's a free game. I have to, I don't want to, like, get really far in this and then have it cut off and then have to pay for it to, you know, continue playing again. And I honestly probably would buy the game if it currently wasn't $40. Right now it's on sale for $20, but I don't have $20. So that's, you know, out of the question for me. And maybe when the summer self esteem rolls around, I'll probably end up getting the game because I think it's like a really great game. But I just didn't want to get too involved in case I didn't come back to it, you know? Now, everything's about this game, I have to say, is like, I think the one downfall is, is, uh, I feel like the game is kind of short. I'm not too sure because I looked into it and I did some research. The game doesn't, didn't seem to have, you know, that main quest, which was kind of questionable because it was like a RPG-ish type game. And I have to be like 100% certain on that, but I'm pretty sure, you know, the, the game wasn't actually that long. Which I think kind of sucks. And also the graphics for it, they, uh, they honestly weren't that good for being, you know, recently released. You would think the graphics are better, but I didn't like that they turned me from the game. I just thought, you know, that's a few complaints I had. Uh, they needed to do more with the clothing options in my opinion because I like playing RPGs I like you know 
sometimes dressing type of ways, but that's just me personally. That's you know, that shouldn't take from the game as it is. I don't think that's a fair, you know, trade off. And it actually it's a it's a wasteland, you know, survival game. And it actually felt like a wasteland survival game, which was crazy. Like there were so many times where I just like had to play so so smart, even more smart than I normally would. It's not like XCOM where you know we have almost you have like plenty of ammo to get through the freaking mission. Like you 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 fine you fine. There's no reason you should ever run out of ammo on a mission to XCOM. But with this like wasteland survival game. It was like you you had to be careful you had to try you had to place every single shot there's friendly fire there's you know they have like the chances to hit chances to miss grenades you know really strong enemies you have to be like tactically good at the game and I thought that was like so amazing like I I love a game that forces you to think that forces you to actually put yourself in a mentality to survive and that's what it did for me it was it, I, n I never at a point that I felt like, you know, I was overwhelmed in the game itself. Like uh, you can in Fallout, which is another post-apocalyptic wasteland survival game in which you know you can have plenty of ammo for whatever guns, and you're always fine. In this game, no, it was like you barely have enough. You have to scrape by and try and survive while there's so many different elements of enemies trying to kill you, and I think that's what made this great so great and that's what drew me in I was like I love this I'm loving this difficulty I'm loving this you know I really feel like I'm in a wasteland survival and I thought that was like super crazy now I enjoyed this game a lot it's like the bosses bosses were hella annoying especially the first boss I ran into the guy was like complete bullshit from beginning to end and they just like made it really difficult I mean you know it's difficult but Sometimes I felt a little overwhelmed by the game, especially because I died so many times. I'm like just trying to outthink my way in a situation is just like certain things happen in a game like this, but it's a game like that, so you know that is to be expected. And I had to utilize and my saves and loads properly to come out with the best outcome, and that was always really really hard. Now the leveling system was pretty good. Uh, you know, it doesn't take too long to level, it's not that hard to level. And it also had like, you know, your, your team has to be really diverse. So I made sure my team was like really diverse in everything they did. And I thought that was like pretty cool. You know, I didn't ever feel like I didn't have something I need too often because one of my other teammates had it. It was just the struggle of knowing how many of which thing I should have, you know? I think that's what made this game so good. Now, if I had to give this game a rating out of five stars, I'm gonna do this, I shouldn't do this, I shouldn't give it like a half, but I'm gonna give it a three and a half out of five because I feel like this game has so much more. Like I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's like, it's not that long of a game if you know what you're doing i think that i think what makes it shine is its degree of difficulty and it forces you to think and it actually feels like a wasteland survival game that's what i think makes the game shine but like the graphics kind of suck which kind of suck and i feel like there isn't much to define your individual characters which that should always be an element in an rpg game that's why i'm giving it a three and a half out of five because i don't i don't want that to be the sole reason but it definitely does tick away from the game, especially an RPG element type game for me. And that's just my personal opinion. You can, you know, say otherwise, but that's just what I'm saying. But thanks for watching this first episode. That's all I have to say about Wasteland 2. And I do hope you stick around for more. So until next time, guys, where's Fluffy is out. Hey, guys, I just wanted to say thank you for Anybody who has supported me thus far, I really appreciate it. I'm really trying hard to make better content and to grow as a YouTuber. And, you know, I just want to definitely say thanks. And if you want, while, you know, waiting for something you want to see, whether it be the Kingdom Hearts series or anything else on my channel, I'm working really, really hard to get that done. I just we got some problems going on. But in this, you know, previous video screening, I'll put uh, my first, I would say, official... 
throwback series or playthrough of the game, you can be sure to check it out. This is the link to the whole playlist if you want to leave. And if you're new and you like the channel, if you want to, please do subscribe. It'll definitely help and show some support. Show some support and show some love. I would appreciate that. And until next time, guys, where's Fluffy is out.